This video will cover some of the more difficult questions based on the concepts that we had discussed in the previous videos. So let's look at the first question. We are given a 5 cross 5 cross 5 cube. All of its surfaces are painted green. Then a 3 cross 3 cross 3 cube is removed from a corner and that cube is painted blue. The new surfaces which get exposed in the original cubes are painted black. And after that, the 3 cross 3 cross 3 cube is put back in and the entire outside of the cube is painted yellow. So how would we approach this question? As mentioned in the first video, the ability to visualize the cube is the most important thing that you need to have to solve these questions. So here I have drawn actually a 5 cross 5 cube out of which a 3 cross 3 has been removed. Now in the exam also you should try and draw this. Maybe not as neatly or as well, but at least something which helps you visualize the situation. So I have this 5 cross 5 cube here and the 3 cross 3 which got removed. So now I can at least have a look at the question and what's happening. So the first question asks, what is the number of small cubes with exactly three faces painted? So we have discussed earlier that in a cube, the vertices are the one which have their three faces painted. So from the cube that has been removed, we know that the eight vertices will have their three faces painted. So eight from the vertices and then in the original cube, also the eight vertices would have their three faces painted, but we have already counted one of it, which got removed. So remaining seven, these are these vertices, remaining seven will get counted because they also have three faces painted. So eight plus seven, 15. And many people would mark 15 as the answer to this question. And that's why this question becomes difficult because it's not that you would feel you are not solving it. You would probably solve it and get a wrong answer. But 15 is not the answer. Because when you remove the cube, you expose some surfaces here, which are getting colored. And these vertices will also have three faces exposed. So now if you count these three to 8 plus 7 plus 3, which is equal to 18. So 18 is the answer for number of small cubes with exactly three faces painted. Let's look at the second question. In the second question, we are asked, what are the number of cubes with exactly one face painted? Now for one face, we have seen earlier that those are the cubes which are caught in between on the faces. So if you look at this three cross three cube, which we had pulled out here, these are the cubes which will have their one face painted. And so for this one, we'll have six faces and one on each face equal to six. Let's look at the bigger cube now. In the bigger cube, the faces which we haven't damaged where we haven't pulled out the cube from there we can still apply the old method and formula so we'll have three faces on in each face we have three cross three cubes which have one face exposed so that becomes nine into three twenty seven now let's look at the faces which we which have been damaged there if you look at it clearly these are the cubes which we would have counted earlier but now because an additional face gets exposed we cannot count them because now there are two faces which are colored. Only this one remains untouched and same for all the other two faces. So we get three from there, one into three. So now we have got 27 plus three plus six equal to 36. And it's very easy to mark 36 as the answer, which would be wrong because now we have also expose certain other cubes where when we paint them, we might be able to get one-faced cubes. If you notice neatly, the ones which are not on the edges, for these cubes, also only one face would be painted because they are deep within, none of the other faces is exposed, only this face is exposed. And there will be four on each side, and that makes it 36 plus 12 equal to 48. So the answer for this question would be 48. Let's look at the third question. What is the number of small cubes with no face painted? The easiest way to do it would be to look at how many cubes would have had no face painted if we hadn't done the experiments we did, which is cut out a cube and then paint and then put it back. And then see how many of those cubes have we painted now. If we hadn't cut out the cube, then the number of cubes which would have had no paint in a 5 cross 5 cross 5 would have been 3 cubes. 
cube which is embedded within the 5 plus 5 plus 5 would have had no paint on it. But now that we have cut out a part of it, let's see how many faces we have exposed and painted now. So out of the three cube, the 3 cross 3 which we removed comprises of eight of these cubes. These cubes which I am marking now would have been part of them. So a 2 cross 2 cross 2 cube is part of that 3 cross 3 which gets removed and gets painted on. So we remove these two cube plus the ones that we have exposed within this structure would also have been earlier without any paint. So the 12 that we counted for the last question, these 12 would also have had no paint earlier, but now they have paint. So we should remove them from the calculation. So we remove this and this leaves us with seven. But seven would not be the answer as one cube is embedded in this removed cube which hasn't been painted. So we need to add that one back. And so the answer becomes seven plus one equal to eight. I will again repeat, this is not an easy question. To do all this visualization and so much of work under examination pressure is not easy. But once you have done it now, once you have looked at it, how you can cut and what are the new nuances, hopefully when you get a similar question in the future, you'll be able to do it much more easily. Let us look at the next question. In this question, there are 729 small cubelets of pink color. 27 of them are brought together to form 27 cubes of 3 cross 3 cross 3 and then they are painted black and then these black cubes are brought together to form a big cube which is painted pink. So the big cube would be of 9 cross 9 cross 9 dimension in units of the smallest cubelet. Now let's look at the first question. The first question asks what is the number of small cubelets that have at least one face painted black. So we need to count how many cubelets will have at least one face painted as black. The challenge in this question is counting the number of cubelets which are on the top surface which have one face painted black because the one within are easier to count. So let's get started with the top surface. So this is the surface of a cube. Let's start counting from the top section of this. So if you look at this section, this was like this and then it has been put here and it has been painted pink. So these cubes will not have a black surface left because all their black spots are already exposed to the outside and they have been painted pink. So they wouldn't have any black surface left. However, this one will have a black surface left because this part is adjacent to the nearby cube and it hasn't been painted black. So this one still has. Similarly, this one will have, this one will have, this one will have, this one will have. And this one, because it's on the top, it has been painted pink, so this one will not have. So the, the cube on the top right corner has roughly five cubes, which do not have a, which do have a black surface. Same will be the case for all the cubes on the edge. So these ones will have five cubes, five cubes with black surface each. Let's look at the one in between. So how many would these have? This face will not have a black surface because anything exposed has been covered. This face will not have. But other than that, all these have a wall adjacent to the other cube and they have that face still remaining as black. So this will have seven such cubes. And seven here, seven here, and seven here. And then we are left with the one in between. And how many will these have? If we start counting for this one, this one will not have a black surface because it has been painted pink, but all the other walls have a black surface attached to them. So this one will have eight, right? So if you look at the top surface from one side, we have five on the edges and seven in between. So the total number of cubes that we get here is five into four plus seven into four plus eight which is equal to 20 plus 28 plus 8, 56 cubes will have a black surface on one side. Since we have six different sides, the total number of black cubes will be 56 into 6. But then we are double counting the cubes on the edges. So we need to take them out. How many cubes do we have on the edges which we are counting? So we are counting this one, this one, 
So there are four cubes on the edges which are double counted. So I will do minus 12 edges and 4 double counted. Minus 12 into 4. When using this, we get 336 minus 48. So these are the number of cubes having black faces on the top layer. What about the layers in between? So if we remove the top layer from all sides, we are left with a cube of dimension 7, a 7 cube number of small cubelets. And in that section, since we haven't been able to touch it after putting together this cube, all the cubes will be black except for the one in between this one, which was left pink. So when we created this cube, there was one embedded in between, which was pink. And that pink would still be pink. But other than that, everything would be black. So for the 27 cubes that we have put it, we just take out the 27 pink ones in between. And that should give us all the other cubes with a black wall, at least one black wall. So that is 343 minus 27. What is the total number of so? What is the total number of small cubelets with a black one? That will be 336 minus 48 plus 343 minus 27. And that comes to 604. Let's look at the second question. In fact, the second question is the easiest of the set and it can be done fairly easily. What the second question asks is, what is the number of cubes that have at least one face painted pink? If you notice, when we created this cube of 3 cross 3 cross 3, we only painted it from the outside. So all the inner walls would still be pink. And if you think through that, all these cubes will have pink color on them. And then when we put them together, we even put more pink on top of it. So each and every cube in this uh, setup will have at least one wall which will be pink. So this answer will be 729. And it's reasonably straightforward if you're able to think through it. This is the third question. The third question asks, what are the number of small cubelets which have equal number of faces painted pink and black? Since these are the only two colors in there, what it means is that three faces should be pink and three faces should be black. Now, we know that pink is more in abundance. It makes sense for us to count how many cubes will have three faces in black. Now, those would be the vertices of these 3 cross 3 cubes. We know that the vertices are the ones which have 3 faces colored. All these vertices would have had black color before they were put together in the bigger cube and painted pink. So the ones which would not have been touched while getting them painted in the bigger cube would be the ones which would comprise of 3 faces as black and 3 faces as pink. How many of them would be there? To visualize that, let's zoom out and look at the cube from a distance. So this is the cube and each of the small cube is the 3 cross 3 cross 3 black cube which we have put together. If you look at it, which are the corners which haven't been touched by any pink color? For the ones on the vertices, there is one corner which is buried deep within because everything else is exposed outside. So for all the vertices, there are 8 vertices and each of them get one corner buried deep within. For the cubes on the edges, for example, this one, or this one, or this one, they have two vertices buried deep within. Six of them are exposed and two are within. So for the 12 cubes on the edges, we have two of them buried deep within, 24. And then for the ones on the center of each face, there are four vertices exposed. If you can see here, these four vertices are exposed, but there are four which are buried within on each side. Four are exposed and four are buried within. So those vertices will still have their three black faces and three pink faces. So we get six into four equal to 24. And then we are left with one cube, which is inside this set of cubes. And that one has all its eight vertices protected. So that will be one into eight equal to eight. So the total number of vertices or the total number of cubes which will lie on the vertices will be 24 plus 24, 48 plus 16, 64. So we get the answer as 64 for this one. Hopefully this video and the entire series was useful. The only way to get comfortable around cubes 
is to do solve questions and visualize the various scenarios yourself. In case you have any doubts, feel free to comment and we'll be happy to reply. In case you want videos on any other topic, feel free to let us know about that also. Thank you. So as you can see, the cube has 12 vertices, not 12, 8 vertices, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8 vertices. The first cube cannot be turned over to cube 2, turned into, police ko nahi de rahe, turned over. 